Today, you're gonna to learn all about the brand new updates from Adobe Experience Design. Oh, and hey, I'd like to point out this video's awesome sponsor, Skillshare.com, which offers thousands of classes in design, coding, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch this quick video on Adobe XD, but you could watch this full XD course at Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month, but if you're the first 200 students to use my very exclusive link below in the description here in YouTube, then you get the first two months free. All right, so let's get started. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today was a massive day in the world of Adobe because they uh, just launched their Adobe Max event. And once a year, they issue massive updates to all their software. And of course they did so with Adobe Experience Design. And they have about five brand new awesome features. And I'm gonna cover just about all of them in a single project. So what did they update exactly? Well, let's see here. This is at their blog page, um, just released today. And by the way, all this stuff uh, is available. So if you open your Creative Cloud desktop app, you can update XD to get all these features now. Voice triggers and speech playback. Uh, this is something we're gonna cover. So you can actually use your microphone to simu simulate uh, voice uh, sort of actions for mobile apps. We can also gain use of plugins right here. So this is huge. It's going to open up a massive world. They already have a bunch of plugins that are ready to be used today. I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Auto animate. So auto animate, I, this really brings about the world of micro interactions and it's extremely simple to use and it's quite uh, versatile and I think it will become even more versatile in the future when they integrate more features with this. So this is awesome. Um, also drag gesture. So if you have like an image carousel or something, um, you can now simulate that through the prototypes. There's linked symbols and you can easily integrate with Adobe Illustrator and export to Adobe After Effects. This is all brand new stuff. And we're gonna be using um, this XD project here to demonstrate all of it. Very exciting stuff. So for today's question, uh, if you're not currently using Adobe XD for your UI design and prototyping typing tool, after these new updates, are you going to do it? Or are you considering it? Let me know in the comments. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I just created a real quick layout here. It's an iPhone X artboard. And uh, I didn't wanna bother you starting from scratch and everything, wasting too much time here. Nothing is really happening. There's no prototyping occurring, no animation. It's just straight up objects being placed here on the artboard. Um, the first thing we'll talk about is plugins. All right, so this is real exciting. Um, now, when you first load up Adobe XD, you get presented with this screen um, right here where you could choose your artboard, but we could see it's also changed with this new update. We see we have add-ons, all right? So this is so awesome. It opens up a massive world of possibility. Um, this is structured into three different categories where it's gonna filter all of these results uh, based on what you choose. So they're split up into plugins, all right? And it's gonna bring up this window here. And you can see there is quite a bit already that they've been adding. Um, also, there's uh, UI kits, all right, so that's going to take you to a website off screen, and then app integrations as well. All right, so let's check, take a look at these plugins here real quickly. All right, so we can see we have Google Sheets, and all, the way this works is uh, you just click to see details. It'll describe exactly what is happening. There's also support links for most of these. I'm not going to overview, you know, exactly what all of these things do. Uh, but as you can see, the, the installation process, very quick and easy. You just click install, it takes a few seconds for, mo for the most part, and you're ready to use it. It doesn't even have to reload the app. It'll, you'll see it in here in a second. Um, so let's say for instance, um, we want this section right here, that we want an avatar for instance, uh, to show up in here. Normally what you'd have to do is go to a different, you know, get a browser up and um, save some avatars, something that's free to use, and then just drag it onto each one of these um, if you have multiple, and there you go. Well, now uh, there's a plugin that will do this so easily for you. It's really awesome. So before we get to that point, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, I'm gonna take everything here, and then I'm going to create a repeat grid. And I'm gonna just drag this out to the right just to create four of them. So I'm gonna ungroup the grid. 
And then I'm also going to make sure these are all ungrouped. So ungroup. And then I'm just going to select just the avatar sections right here. All right, so if we go back to the section right here for our plugins, uh, we're gonna find one that's called UI Faces, all right? Now you can see I already installed it. All you have to do is just click install and in a couple seconds, it'll be ready to go. It's gonna look exactly like this. You don't have to do anything else. But as you can see, the UI Faces plugin generates avatars for your design mockups. So how do we use this? Well, with these four selected, we come down here and we go to plugins and you'll see we have all of our current plugins. I installed two, Airtable and also UI Faces. So let's click on UI Faces. And before you click on it, make sure whatever object or element that you want the faces to be um, imported into is selected. So we have four, so UI Faces. And now we have the UI Faces interface and each one of these plugins has their own interface that they use. Um, the, for this one, we have a number of different options. So you can choose a source um, where it should get these. You could choose musicians. I'm just gonna choose Unsplash. And then uh, I'll just make sure, I'll just put, uh, I'm gonna leave all these off, but you can obviously choose a lot of different things like hair color, you can randomize them, emotion. Uh, let's make them happy and then apply faces. Hit okay, and there we go. She seems pretty happy, I guess, definitely happy. Yeah, these people are happy, awesome stuff. All right, so as you can see, these plugins are gonna make your life tremendously helpful um, and a little bit more simple. And, and I look forward to covering each one, not each one of them, but the more notable ones uh, in future videos. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna take all those and just group them up. All right, so now let's go ahead and duplicate this artboard so we can get into the prototype section so that we can start to cover the auto animate feature, which is awesome for micro animations, something I've been calling for for a long time. All right, so we hit Control D to duplicate these and I just wanna make a few adjustments. Let's say for instance that we want uh, this right here to increase in size um, when it transitions from this artboard to this artboard, okay? Um, so to do that real quickly, uh, we'll just increase the scale. Pull this out just a bit and bring this down. We'll make this uh, a little bit larger. All right, and then let's also say uh, we're gonna delete this and then we're gonna move this down. Actually, we'll take everything and move it down right there. All right, so we scaled this up, we removed this and we also scale or we, uh, in terms of position, we move these two items down. All right, now let's also add one more text element right here and I'm just gonna put some money symbols um, right there. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me right there. Let's go ahead to the prototype section. Now we're gonna cover two different things here real quickly. Um, first, let's go ahead and we'll take this and drag it over to from our, the first artboard to the second. And before we get to the auto animate section, we're gonna make the voice uh, properties work here. So. Um, for this, if we choose trigger and come down, we can, the, the new option here is time, all right? And there's a command. So the voice command that we want to um, deliver this artboard over to this or artboard will be show me the money. All right, and this is gonna pick us up from my microphone, all right? Um, so for the action, we're gonna change to auto animate. All right, so this is also new, obviously, as a part of this you know huge update. So we'll say auto animate, and the destinations go in here. Um, easing, we have several new options here as well, such as snap, wind up, and bounce, and these are specific to auto animate, and it changes how these uh, elements will animate based on the changes that we made to them in terms of scale, um, position. And I believe it would work with opacity as well. I haven't tried that yet. 
All right, so uh, let's just leave this. Uh, let's just leave this at ease out. All right, and so now we have a voice trigger that's also going to work. So we're recovering two brand new features in one shot. All right, so um, I'm going to click play here, and notice it says hold down the space bar while speaking to use voice commands. All right, so I one thing to note: you're going to have to give. Uh, Adobe XD permission. So if you try to hit space um, and you haven't done that yet, a, a, a dialogue will, will pop up and you have to give it permission to use your microphone. Also make sure, uh, depending on which OS you're using, Windows or Mac, make sure that your current in de input device is set to your microphone. I had to make sure that was set. All right, so now I'm going to say, show me the money. Look at that. Worked perfectly. All right, so let's try it again just so we can see it. Show me the money. Awesome stuff. So now if we go back here, we can play around with some of these properties. We can make the duration a little bit longer. And maybe we'll change this to, uh, we'll say wind up. All right, so hit play. Show me the money. And you can notice that it changed how the animation took place. All right, so now let's try uh, the third feature, which is dragging. All right, so let's say, for instance, this right here, we can see it, it extends beyond uh, this artboard, and we have two other ones that we don't even see. But obviously, in a real world scenario, a user on a, on a phone like this would be able to swipe with their finger. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and duplicate this. And we simply take the same uh, group here that's off and we just position it to wherever we want it to show up. So I'm just going to hold shift and bring it right over here. So we're going to show the last two. Let's go to prototype and we'll say, we'll drag this over and this is going to be drag. All right. So we also have this set at auto animate. So if there was anything changing up here, it would animate as well. Um, so let's give this a shot to see if it works. So instead of having to keep on giving that uh, voice command, I'm going to go ahead and select this artboard here and hit play. So we start right there. And we can see we have kind of like a hyperlink uh, uh, pointer right here. Drag it. And there we go. Now we can't go back. So what we can do is just set this back here. And it will remember the previous options here. So now if we hit play, show me the money. Drag it and then drag it back as well. And I think the, the um, orientation got reversed there a little bit. There we go. Awesome. All right. So now let's uh, play with this even further. Um, let's say, for instance, I, I, I want to play with auto animate feature a little bit more just to show you how dramatic the effect can be based on the changes that you make. So let's go to design. All right. So we've uh, duplicated this artboard once more. And we'll just say if a user clicks on this title here, um, it's going to take them to this artboard. So that will be a, a click-based trigger. And um, what we'll do is take this whole thing up here. We'll move it up and scale it up all the way to the top. All right, just like that. And let's remove that. All right, here's... Yo, money, <laughs> silly. Okay, so now um, we'll go ahead right here, choose this, somebody clicks on it. Um, let's see here, The this will be a tap and we have auto animate set. And for the easing, we'll choose, uh, let's try snap. All right, now let's just go from here and hit play. Click on this. I don't like snap. Let's change it to, um, now I imagine in the future they'll probably add some more options for the easing type. Um, actually kind of like widen up. Let's hit play. All right, so um, let's click out of there. There we go, click play. And then we click this. There we go, that's smooth. I like that a lot. So obviously, Massive amount of doors have been opened here in Adobe XD for micro animations between your prototypes. All right, so um, let's also 
do I one more thing? Um, let's for in terms of micro animations and the um, the auto animate feature. Let's take this artboard here. Let's duplicate that. And I what before we duplicate that actually, let's take this and just momentarily I'm going to move things down. I'm going to right click and ungroup this. And we don't want this here over there. I'm going to get all I'm going to get rid of uh, all of these um just those two though. All right. And then we're going to move this back up to where it was. And I'm going to take this one, make sure just this section is selected, control G and we're grouping it. So now let's go ahead and duplicate this. And for this section, we're going to get rid of this. And we're also going to take this and scale it up. All right. And then we're going to take this here, scale this up in font size, scale this, uh, the line height up a bit and increase the size of this section. And I think that's pretty good right there. I, I may just take everything here and move it up like that. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to come here and when somebody clicks on this group right here, we're going to drag it over here. Uh, we have tap for the action. It's going to be auto animate. And then we'll do at the end, we'll leave it at wind up kind of how we've been doing. So let's click on this one to start and we'll click on it. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome stuff. I love it. All right. Now one final feature I'm going to show you is the uh, voice playback. So if we choose our very last artboard here and we click at the end, we're going to choose a time trigger at zero second delay. We want this to happen instantly. And, um, then what we choose for action is speech playback. So we specify a speech option right here and we'll say here is your money, bro. All right, right there. So now watch what happens. We're going to start at this point. We're going to hit play. Here's your money, bro. All right. I'm not sure if you can hear that through my speakers enough, but there you go. So that's obviously the more um, relevant use case for that would be, you know, if we ask it something, maybe it would, it would have occurred here when there was a, uh, a speech playback, but yeah, um, very huge update. All right, so hopefully you found that exciting. I know I did. Make sure you answer today's question, which is if you're not currently using Adobe XD, are you going to make the switch to XD? All right, I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you subscribe and see you later.